Y muy buenas noches aquí con tu programa Hablando Entre Mujeres. Hoy día, martes, septiembre 3, con un invitado especial que no te lo puedes perder. Uh, hay mucho de qué hablar, por supuesto, porque te tengo aquí conmigo. Y para empezar, debemos dejar saber que este fin de semana, que fue el fin de semana de todas las personas que han trabajado todo este año, que se han sacrificado, que han hecho cosas maravillosas con su familia, es bien merecido. Fue un espectáculo, tuvimos muchos eventos y, por supuesto, tuvimos descanso. Bueno, el descanso es poco a poco, ese poquito, ese instante que tienes con tu familia, que la pasas divino, ya tú sabes. Tienes que siempre tomar ese chance para darte la oportunidad de amar. De amar y por eso este programa hoy en día con Jean Herringen, Herringen es acerca del amor. Y si ustedes ven aquí, tengo un libro muy especial, el cual es nominado como Best Selling Author International es nominado como uno de los mejores autores internacionales vendidos con su libro que se llama Tu relación y el esfuerzo para rescatarlo. Entonces, tenemos aquí a Jim en el estudio, en el estudio y pronto lo vamos a estar entrevistando. Pero sobre todo, tengo que dejarles saber a ustedes que viene algo muy importante que se acerca y que estoy emocionada. Se llama el Tour C, el Jefe. Tour del 2019, empezando desde Canadá, con Héctor Rodríguez Corbelo, con su programa Be The Boss. Este del Jefe es realmente una plataforma que ha empoderado a muchas personas como líderes. También los ha ayudado con una sola idea, una sola idea para crear un negocio millonario para darle la, cap la capacitación profesional, personal y, por supuesto, a nivel corporativo. No tan solo eso, todos los negocios digitales que necesitas tú empoderarte siempre. Porque hoy en día todo lo digital es lo que permanece. Esas son las herramientas eficaces que vamos a estar dando con esta conferencia, que van a tener la información en la pantalla acerca de CGF el Tour. También estaré dando más información en los comentarios y quiero que por favor todos ustedes que están uniéndose hoy dejen un comentario para saber cuánto te gusta este programa, que eres parte de ello y que por supuesto te gusta compartirlo con muchas otras personas que también se empoderan por medio de todas estas palabras, de esta comunicación, de esta energía, porque somos vivencia. Esto es una vivencia, una experiencia subliminal. So I have to mention that we're coming with the conference name Be The Buzz, which is said Jefe, with Héctor Rodriguez Curbelo, who has a wonderful program, a very effective program online. It's been over five years. He's a millionaire. He has become a very impactful person in the media. And the reason why is because he helped people with one idea, with one strategy how to become a millionaire. Not only that, he does help you to grow your business as a corporate and also as a growth professionally. Why? Because we need mentoring, we need coaching, and this is what it's all about. So be the boss, which is Cell Jefe Tour, is gonna be launched on November the 8th, November 9th and 10th. And it's happening here in Mississauga, Toronto, Canada. And I'm so glad because I am the promoter for this event not only that, I'm going to be speaking on stage and I'm going to have opportunity to interact with you. So that's why it's so important that please, everybody that's listening, every person that's being influenced with this program, always share it. You know why? This is not about me. Like I said, it's about you. It's about other people that are getting to know more in details. How can they grow themselves? Why? It's really important these days. If you're not in the digital media, if you're not exposed to the opportunity of marketing, I'm sorry, it's really hard out there. But there is a difference. That's why we're bringing the conference out, Jefe, and I want you to be there. It will be 100% in Spanish spoken. However, we're going to have interpreters for all the media in English and any other language that wants to be capacitated. So I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, today we will have the conversation in English, also in Spanish. I'll be crisping around with two different languages. Why? 
you need it. I need it. Everybody need it. And we have to remember, Universes Radio is part of this program in Mexico. And I'm so happy for that. Thank you for sharing up with this program. And Universes Radio, que está en México, ha sido siempre parte de este programa, esparciendo la voz. Gracias, Hugo Hernández. Eres maravilloso. También tenemos a Columbus al día con Ohio and Miami. Y también personas que lo escuchan desde Colombia, Perú y Venezuela. Gracias, Columbus al día. Gracias, Wilder. Gracias, Juan Alberto. Son especiales. Y por supuesto, gracias porque creen en este proyecto. So I have to say Columbus al día and University Radio is expanding this program in two different uh, countries. One is United States, one is Mexico. Perhaps they've been listening uh, through Latin America, which is Colombia, Peru, and Venezuela. And I'm so happy, so happy, because I know that we're making changes in lives. In lives that are listening this each time on Tuesday at 7 p.m. So I have to mention, I, I have Mary Hetherington. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you're here because your husband's here and we're going to be speaking about the relationship. I'm sure that you want to listen because you're all about that, right? So thank you for being here. I have Juan Moses Davila Jimenez. Ah, he's sending a little face there. Thank you. This is the Nicaragua from Nicaragua. Wow. Gracias. Gracias. Esto es el poder de poder esparcernos, poder hacernos conocer. No es acerca de mí, no es acerca de Jim, es acerca de lo que podemos dar para ti. So, y también estamos siendo escuchados desde Instagram. Yes. También desde YouTube. Recuerden que pueden encontrar nuestro programa Hablando Entre Mujeres con Dos en Línea TV, quien es realmente el patrocinador mayor. Es quien nos da el día a día este programa para ti. Por eso, quédate con nosotros. Disfruta de esta noche. Tenemos cosas maravillosas. Una de las cosas que tengo que hablar es quién es Jim Hedrington. And I'm so glad that you're here because there's so much to talk about. Mary says, hola. Thank you, Mary. I'm sure that you speak Spanish by now. You've been in Nicaragua many times. And that's something I'm going to talk about, Jim, uh, where he's been and why his work is being in Nicaragua. So... Jim uh, is born here in Canada, in Cambridge. It's a, it's a town very near here. And um, I can say that's beautiful because when you see a person and their biography and their history, you want to see how stable this person is. You want to see what that person have accomplished in order for you to know, should I really follow him? Should I really know who he is? Yes, he's been in Cambridge for 36 years. Oh, no, sorry. All his life, my mistake, and 36 years married to Mary Hedrington. Wow, that's huge. I want to listen about it. <laughs> I'm sure that he, there's some tons of ideas here that you're going to listen about. And that's why he did this book. That's why he has the spirit to perform uh, and talking and audiences, being a speaker, and perhaps build this book, which being a blessing to many other people who have given uh, the opportunity to read, perhaps who have chosen to be the reader, and perhaps who can share this always. So I'm very glad about that. Also, we have to say that he's a winning bestseller author internationally twice. Twice. This is big. I'm sorry. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest. These days, if you don't have mentions, if you don't have prices, if you are not out there keeping forcing for what you want, it's difficult. But that's why you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Please just leave us a message. I want to read all comments possible because we have, we have one book. One book that will be given to this beautiful audience. Why? Because you're listening and you deserve it. So please like it, share it, and follow it. That will be a blessing to many others. So I have to say that uh, one of the things that Jim brings with his uh, self, with his own inner self, is his relationship with God. He's been a pastor. He was a pastor for the youth ministry for 25 years. And he's also a part of that. 
in life reality. When people get married, he is the one who married, who has that license to perform the marriages. And he's gonna talk a little bit about that. But why he's doing this? Because he wanna empower people with the same vision. He wants to share that love and kind um, in the grace of God, perhaps. I'm sure that he has so many wonderful experiences in this book, which I read. Yes, I did. Um, not all, I wish I can do it all. I, it'll be soon, that's for sure. But I have to be honest, yes, I read a few pages and from what I read, I can say the manifestation of love, it's incredible. So this is something you should read. It's in Amazon, available, and also here in this program. And if you say something in these messages, on these comments, you'll be a person who can get that book. So um, also he has worked in Nicaragua, yes, with little children. That's impressive. He has worked as part of his mission in life to help people with the ministry of love. He has shared the word of God. I'm sure about that. He had also uh, bring food to kids. He has sh had done sheltering. Um, he has a construction company. Yes, he's done it for years. He's being a self-employed for 25 years and um, Part of this is because he had blessed others. You know, when, when you think about how people get stable in life, it's not about how much I can receive, it's how much I can give. And out of all the blessings he has, he had shown in life, in reality, how his money, his means, his um, wealth, his self, he's being able to always pour out for others. So I'm so blessed. I'm so honored he's here. We're going to have a commercial soon. And I want you to stay because if you're not going to stay, you miss it. So I'll be back with you in about two minutes or less. Thank you. ¿Te gustaría conocer las cartas del Niagara? ¿Qué ha habido? Mi nombre es Pepe García, co-director de Vago por Toronto. Y nosotros ofrecemos el tour a las cartas del Niagara y a la región vinícola de Negronda Lake desde la ciudad de Toronto. Si quieres más información de todos nuestros servicios, Contáctanos a través de nuestras redes sociales. Estamos en Instagram, estamos en Facebook. Ahí te vamos a atender y te vamos a brindar toda la información que necesitas. Chao, chao. Mi nombre es Mariana Santos y soy consultora de migración y refugio aquí en Canadá. En mi compañía se llama Santos y Associates Immigration Inc. Hacemos toda clase de documentación sobre inmigración. Llevamos a cabo refugios, razones humanitarias, visas de estudio, de trabajo, de turismo. Acérquese, consúltenos a nuestra oficina. Estamos siempre dispuestos para usted. Los espero aquí en Santos y Asociados, en la esquina de Kirk y Wilson, con una sonrisa para usted y para su familia. Muchas gracias. Obleas and Waffles to Go continúa en grandes eventos en Toronto, Canadá. El próximo 7 de septiembre estaremos en un atardecer llanero en el gran opening de International Sport Band junto a Isabel Cuellar. Esto será desde las 12 del mediodía hasta las 7 de la noche. Y el 22 de septiembre en el Latin Fall Fiesta and Parade, en donde los colombianos y canadienses seguirán disfrutando de nuestros sabores de Colombia. Ok, mis amigos, I'm back here. How are you doing, Jim? I'm great, thank you. Thank oh, you. wow. I'm so, so happy. Um, it's been a long journey that we have met together. Yes. And uh, when I spoke uh, with you and I told you, come on board, I want you to be in my audience in uh, Hablando Entre Mujeres, the program that's been impactful, not to women only, to any gender, but now you say, yes, I'll come. How do you feel about that proposal? Uh I am. I'm probably more excited about it than you are. Oh How's gosh! That? I am. I'm really excited to be here. This is ah. great. This is fantastic. I'm glad it finally happened for us. I know we have been talking a long time. Yes. And I know you're super, super busy. And I'm glad you opened the spot for me to come. For sure. And this is what uh, about. Uh, this is something which I love doing. Um, I love bringing people who I know 100% have done significantly work in 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 the community and many different countries internationally and that's why we are here yeah, so i'm so happy for that 
Uh, one thing we have to mention again, uh, this is your wonderful book. It is, yes. And uh, when did you release this book? Just last summer, last fall. Last wow. Last September last year. Yeah, I remember. I remember when you did it. And also, um, I was able to listen to people who really got in the book um, to know your work. And then suddenly, all I hear is best-selling author internationally. I'm like, wow, that's my friend. I'm so happy. Yeah. How did, how did that felt? Uh, how do you feel about that? I feel great about it. I mean, we really worked hard. This is this is actually a lot of my work over the last 20, 30 years. And wow. I've always taught youth and young adults. And so I actually met with a couple one time and I was talking to them about their upcoming wedding. And the girl started to cry when I was sharing some of this material. And wow. I said, what's the matter? And she said, I'm 25 years old and nobody's ever told me these things. So that's what I decided to finally put wow. it in a book last fall. Wow, that's amazing. And one thing that I want to mention here, you said, 11 F words to increase the love. Yes. Could you tell me those words? Yes. So, <laughs> so I, in there, I talk about faith and family and friendship. Those are the three that I start with because those are very important to, to know, right? What you, what you want, what your expectations are in all those areas and what your expectations are for future goals, for your finances and, and so much other things. Uh, there's feasting, there's, there's uh, friskiness, there's all kinds of stuff in there forever. Those are some of the words that I talk about there because so often we get into relationships, we don't even think about all these other things, how they're going to influence our life, what we want, what we expect the other person to want and so on. That's, that's very meaningful. When you said the word forever, mm -hmm. what does that mean forever in time? Well, to, for, you know, it, it obviously means, you know, forever here in the physical world that we live in. And that's what we really, I think we forget is that when we get married, it, it's supposed to be forever. It's, it's till death do us part. It's, it's till we, you know, something happens that separates us other than divorce, other than, you know, mm -hmm. I just don't like you anymore. It's, it's a forever thing. And, and we don't often think about that. No, we don't. And, and I'm going to just to translate here to our audience yes, in this time because I want them to be inclusive, right? So, Jim Talk eh, habla acerca de su libro que ha sido realmente un maravilloso, una maravillosa experiencia. Lo hizo en octubre del año pasado. Se convirtió en número uno, eh, mejor autor internacional. Eh, él ha compartido este libro con personas que inclusive una mujer de 25 años llegó a su vida y le dijo gracias. Nunca había habido alguien que hablara como tú y me enseñó lo que es realmente el amor y de eso se trata nosotros estamos aquí para empoderarte a ti que seas parte de este maravilloso eh, programa por medio de diferentes tópicos de, de, de cosas que realmente te hagan crecer como ser humano él habla que eh, en las hay 11 11 palabras específicas que empiezan con la f y una de ellas bueno esto es en inglés dice que es la fe la familia y los amigos y cuando hablamos de todo esto, también habla de la palabra por siempre. Y yo le pregunté, ¿qué es por siempre para ti? ¿Qué significa por siempre? Él habla que la familia, que el género, que el hombre, la mujer, cuando se casan, siempre tienen ese pensamiento por siempre. Pero en estos días, ya la gente lo que piensa es cuando me divorcio. De eso estamos hablando. Quiero que seas parte. Sigue aquí con nosotros. Tenemos mucho que hablar y vamos a estar interactuando entre inglés y español. So I just uh, mentioned all what we talk in right, Spanish. Right. One word in Spanish, because you've been in Nicaragua. One word in, Sp in Spanish? Yeah. Oh, what word would you want? Well, say something to me and I'll see if I can reply in okay. Spanish. Okay. So, ¿cómo te sientes aquí en este programa hablando entre mujeres? Now you lost me a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. Despacio, por favor. Okay. Oh, ya lo dijo. <laughs> ya lo dijo. Despacio, por favor. Muy bien, muy bien. Slowly. Yes. Slowly. <laughs> Please. So, uh, you know what? Um, I'm sure that you being in Nicaragua and you, you, you feel that sense of humanity, that human being that speak other language than you, but certainly the love is the magnificent thing that connects us. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's all about the same. It's not about you yeah. speak Spanish, you speak English, I have different feelings, you don't. You know? How would you say about your work done in, in Nicaragua? What, what really had meant that in your life? Well, it's, it's meant a lot to me going down over the years. I've been down about 15 different times. Wow. I've probably taken over 100 youth 
down over those years. Wow. I've spoke on radio shows, we've done TV shows, we've done all kinds of stuff down there. Wow. We've done medical clinics, we've done feeding centers. Wow. And every time I go down there, I go down there to equip leaders, to talk to leaders, to talk to families, to bless and encourage them. But I come home equally blessed every time. They teach me so much about humility and just the simple things wow. of life. They teach me so much. You say equally. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, that's a wonderful word because, yes, that's one of the things I think humanity, human beings, the soul of a person have missed. How equal we are. How every day we in, in life can do things matchable for one to, to each other, right? Sure. And um, I, I, I'm doing a book called Breakthrough, Changing the Pattern of Poverty. Mm. And I love what we're talking because this is part of what I read. That's, this is part of what I write. This is part of uh, how I feel. So I'm sure the connection is here just because we are at the same level of energy. What do you think about that? Yeah, no, I agree. Because, and, you know, to go back to, I, I think the people in, in Central America, many of them, have, have, you know, don't have the same opportunities monetarily. Right? Yes. in jobs and so on, yes. but they have so much to teach us in terms of how to interact with people, how to care for people, how to love and encourage people. Wow. There's so much that I tell you, I, 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 you as my wife, I, I come back, I'm in tears <laughs> when I come home because it just touches me so, so much. So much. I, I, I could believe that. Um, I believe it. I know for a fact I've lived it in uh, Mexico, in Cuba, in Republica Dominicana, which is Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. um, in Venezuela, where I came from, where I am from, uh, where I belong. And um, one of the things I think is the most impactful in this society is how humble people are. Mm. You know, with the very little they have, or the very much they have, they're still humble. Yes. It's, 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 it's something that they own, you know? and. We, we got to understand that this is sometimes this loose here in Canada. And it's not because they don't want to be humble. It's just because the rush of life or uh, the meaningful ways that we have to spread ourselves with, you know, some meanings about economical situation or, you know, maybe the interaction of networking, it's easier makes that person lose their humbleness. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think sometimes we can lose focus. It's easy to lose focus. We can become so driven, especially in North America, we can become so driven to mm -hmm. uh, to earn more, to get more, to have more. Whereas there, they, they do want to earn more and get more and have more, mm -hmm. but they're still looking out for people around them. To, to, yeah, they're to always share thinking. They're always thinking. Yeah, they're always, they're always, always thinking, how can I help you, you know? Yeah, like, they don't lose sight of that. No, they even open the door and people, they don't know if people was going to rob them or do something against right. them. But the, yeah. they're still in their mind, you know what? They're amigo. Yeah, they're friends. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Now, we have been in some areas where they have gotten very aggressive when we've tried to give things away. Okay. And help them, but for the most part, no, most they're very part. gracious. Yes. Wow, this is amazing. I have to listen here. Um, to uh, some of the comments. Oh, great. Do you wanna, do yeah, you wanna? let's okay. yeah. <laughs> So it says here, Emilio, hola, hola, amigo. And I'm doing with Emilio a co-author book. Oh, is that right? Yes, it's called The Spiritual Fitness Survivor. Wow. And what a wonderful uh, experience I've um, gotten to know Emilio and the people that surround him, like you are, and all our co-authors and uh, authors uh, network, right? Yes, yeah. And uh, one of the things I love doing right now with this book is sharing that experience of love. Mm. I think um, out of the side of my human life <laughs> in earth, which is being lots, it's not because I'm too old. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Thank you. It's just because it's been, you know, a rough path sometimes, ups sure, and down, sure. the pits and falls. Yeah, but that's life. It's life, exactly. So, but um, that's one of the things I, I see. You see the support. Yep. He's there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. He, he, maybe he has some things to do. Who cares? You know, but he's there. Yeah, that's wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it is. And that's what you want to create with people. Yeah. So I'm sure that the audience and the people who follow you with this book, um, can you tell us a little bit of more about what their meaningful word not only love, but meaningful word was when they replied back to you saying, I read the book mm. and what experience they got. 
One of the biggest comments I get the most is from people that are maybe a little over 40 years, like 40, 50, mm -hmm. 60 years old, saying, I wish I would have known this stuff when I was younger. Wow. Because the truth is that we, we don't, there's nothing in school that teaches us about relationships. No. Is there? There's no school, there's no degree that we learn how to be <laughs> best friends, how we learn to well, be a husband and wife. Well, there are a That's right, if you like get that, advanced yeah. degrees, mm. yes. Or if you go into human resources, then you'll, exactly. you, you get some specialized. But going through school, on average, we don't learn anything about relationships. We have to, we have to figure that out all on our own. And oftentimes we make poor choices. Poor choices. Poor choices. And uh, um, I agree with you, but I think uh, the, the meaningful way of describing everything in this book is because you have lived that life. Sure. Yeah, with a powerful woman you have by your side, I Mary. Do. Yes. yes. Yeah, she's wonderful. Uh, I, I can see it. she's here. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about um, one experience that really determined you uh, as a human being. Okay, this is the woman of my life. Mm. Well, I I went through a few years uh, before I met Mary, where I experienced. You know the wrong side of the track we'll say and, and and mary experienced a lot of things as well and then when we met we knew what we did not want we knew wow. we didn't want that lifestyle we knew we didn't want it and when we met it was just it was just this instant thing that we realized and recognized that we wanted to be together and so would you say that is the chemical chemistry it was like a chemistry. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, we look at it more as a divine appointment. Oh, yes, we just yes really, I agree, I agree. We <laughs> just really believe that God just brought us together because we were both, you know, we both got laid off from jobs. Wow. You know, and we were at temporary job. And we both showed up at this temporary job and met each other in, in October. And by May the following year, we were married. Wow, just in a short period. That's right. So it means... And I, I see a lot of hearts here. Thank you. Hola, Daniela. <laughs> Roman, that's the wife of Emilio. And uh, I can see these couples so powerful. Yeah. They're, they're just so amazing. It's like, you know what? I tell you something. Mm -hmm. People expect um, so much of other people. You yeah. know, when they see you in camera, they see you, you are out there outpouring who you are because this is not for everybody. Let's be honest. That's not right. everybody wants to be in the spotlight, yeah. isn't it's it? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, mm -hmm. but it's something I enjoy at least. And you do. I do. I <laughs> That's why we do conferences. We speak, we do coaching. And I'm so happy that you are giving us that mentoring today here. Wonderful. Thanks. So I wonder because you see, Emilio, and I'm going to make that explanation and example. I just want to bring this up because it's important for people to understand why we brought you here mm. and why this book is displayed. Um, I see these two couple together and um, there was a time where I see like, oh my God, why they do that online, you mm. know? But then I see and I say, they're human, you know? It's, it's something... And I, I won't say what it is. It was just something simple about maybe sure. a little argument and they're not uh, in agreement of something, which is okay. You know, we're human it happens. beings. It happens. But I said, this is natural. It's not something you're programmed to out there say, okay, you know, everything is perfect. No, no, no. It's, sure. not, it's not to believe that because we are mentoring people we're facing the camera. We're showing how we can bless others. We're not falling into the category. Yes, we are half falls and we are. We have the downs falls, and we're human who make a mistake. That's right. You know. So I think uh, part of the things that you may have mentioned in this book were your mistakes, your falls down, right? Like, sure. okay, no, everything was good always. There was something that I had to change and check. To really bring out there a difference yeah what can you say about that well it it took my wife and i like we still we still have differences i mean we're still human sure. beings we still have things that we like <clears throat> and so we still have uh not conflicts but we have different uh, differences you know, differences mm -hmm. and and uh, different point of views on things which is wonderful i mean she's a human being i need to respect how she looks at things and how she appreciates things and and we find ways to to balance but early in our in our marriage 
it probably took us a good 10 to 12 years before we really started to Gosh. really get into the groove. Thank you for yeah. saying that. Yeah, wow. Amazing. Thank you. It, it wasn't There's an no instant formula. Thing. No, there was no, no instant thing because we have to, it's all give and take. It's all learning each other, uh, learning your likes, your dislikes, learning how the other one needs to be valued. You know, we all have a love language, right? We all have a way that we need to be spoken to and it's finding that and learning how to, 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 to do that. Wow. And I have one question. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them will be, why to love more and care less? Love more and care less. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's great. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. I like that. Yeah. What could you say about that? Wow. I think it's, yeah, I think it's important that we put love first. I mean, that, that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't yeah, it? We need to put love first. And, and I'm actually working on a second book called The Seven Laws of Love. Oh, I'm gosh. talking about love, I think that love, you know, the laws of love, the lies of love, I'm talking about all those things. And, and so, yeah, what I would say is, yeah, if we put love first, if when I, when I marry couples today and encourage and coach and mentor couples, I always say, prefer the other one, which means put the other one first. Think of the other one first. Like if there's only one slice of bread and somebody you yeah. both want toast, let them have It's toast. like the father to mother. I mean, it's like, sorry, it's like a mother to a child yeah you, you wanna, know yeah, you want to always wrong. please your child you always want to put that person first because you own that person in you and i think it's because the center of our lives is god love is god god is love so i'm sure that if we wet ourselves um you know into the river for that person and feel it as the other person may have felt it we can compare and say, okay, you know what? Even though I don't like this, I'm going to make, you know, an exception today. And I'm going to challenge myself to have something different that maybe can even bring more love. Mm -hmm. What do you think about That's that? That's right. Yeah. And, and I think that, you know, the thought that came to me is that we have to remember that things change. Like we change, we all change. Constantly. Right? Constantly. And so a relationship needs to change as well. We need to change the way we approach our relationship, the way we interact in our relationships, we need to constantly change. The, one of the biggest problems I see in, in marriages mm -hmm. and in long-term relationships is we get married, you know, on day <laughs> one and, you know, one person doesn't change and the other one does. And then that causes great, great conflict. We all need to continually change and evolve together. So innovating. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk this in Spanish because yeah. I think it's really important. Gracias por los corazones, amigos. No se vayan. Yo sé que ustedes también esperan un poquito de ese español aquí en nuestro programa pero significativo es lo que estamos diciendo y haciendo. So, Jim habla que realmente el amor es lo que va a ponerte a ti en un nivel diferente siempre. ¿Cómo? Bueno, poniéndonos en los zapatos de esa otra persona. Tenemos que pensar que no todo es para nosotros como nosotros queremos, sino también darle a esa persona la perspectiva de querer ser mejor. ¿Cómo? Ayudándolo, apoyándolo, ministeriándolo, dándole el amor que Dios nos da para que ellos también reciban de la misma manera. Eh, pienso que el trabajo que ha hecho Jim y por lo que ha dicho hoy, eh, realmente ha sido significativo donde las personas dicen lo único que fui a ver en tu libro es cómo tú muestras el amor tan diferente a lo que yo he vivido. Y eso es lo que le ha hecho a él diferente. Hoy en día, eh, teniendo tantas personas que están leyendo su libro, que le han dado un testimonio de vuelta, él ha dado cuenta que tiene que hacer otro libro y lo está haciendo. Ahora es las siete leyes acerca del amor. Y eso no lo puedes perder. Yo te eh, invito a ti a que sigas a Jim Harrington. Harrington. Um, how can they uh, get you on social media? They can get me on Facebook, on, okay. on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can reach out to me at uh, jimheatherington.com. I make it real simple. It's just my name.com. Oh, So wow. they can get me there. But you have something called 360. Tell me I about it. I do, yeah. So my 360 site has all of my social media connections right there. All my emails, everything is right there. So you can go to Coach Jim. 360.com and you can oh connect. that's much easier that's much easier you're right thank you for reminding me about <laughs> ah, that. Yes but it is such a simple thing you can connect there any way that you want right from that app ok so él dice que si quieren conectarse con Jim es muy fácil nada más vayan a www.coach que es c-o-a-c-h 360 eh, coach Jim coach Jim ah, yes. ah ok perdón es c-o-a-c-h j-j 
360.com y ahí van a tener toda la información de él, pueden mandarle mensajes, pueden mandarle un email, pueden tan simple decirle gracias, estuviste est estupendo. Eso es muy importante. So, I'm so glad that uh, we have spoken so much about, um, you know, really what love means. Mm. Um, I have a few other questions, but I think we have to go on to our commercials. And I don't want you to lose the sight, so stay here. We'll be back in two minutes. La Comunidad Cristiana y Delán Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esa hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. Hola. Yo soy a Tedora A. Dr. Stacy. I'm Dr. Stacy Cooper. I'm the author of Heal Your Health, and I have a special offer for you. I also utilize the Quantum Biofeedback Resonance Scan, which is a non-invasive tool to see how your body's functioning on the inside before signs and symptoms show up. To receive $50 off the scan, simply mention Rosemary Sanchez and the program El Blando and Tere Mojeres, Talking Between Women, and this way you will receive $50 off. Hi, my name is Vicky Chapari. I'm a realtor. I have the chance to meet families every day and help them. For me, it's really important to know my client and know the expectation and the needs and building a relationship, a friendship. Buying, selling, or even renting is one of the most important financial decisions and even emotional. So it's so important to know each other and to trust each other. And we start working together. To my so client, I have a wonderful group of professionals that I work with as a lawyer, mortgage broker, home station, painters, and I love to provide that information to my clients as well. Ok, mis amigos, gracias por esperar en línea, por no irte, por siempre ser parte de este programa maravilloso. Aquí con Jim, uh, tenemos mucho de qué hablar todavía. And I'm going to translate now. <laughs> so I just said that uh, thank you so much for you being here in our studio. Not only that, the people kept uh, watching and not going anywhere, right? Yes, yes. We have to great. always honor the people. Absolutely. Yes. I'm glad you're back too. <laughs> yes, yes. And one of the things I want to mention is that you have done conferences. Conferences with... Uh, Raymond Aaron has been his coach and Raymond Aaron did this book the chicken soup for the soul for parts and um, He's the best-selling author for New York, New Times. York Times. Wow, wow. That's, big. that's huge. That's huge. Not only that uh, You've been with Jack and Phil who's already in this book also because they're right. both here. Yes. And uh, when I brought the book Honestly, I thought about Raymond, but then I said, well, but he's been with Jack and Phil also. Yes. Hello. Yes. So it was not a coincidence. It was a No, coincidence. that's right. That's great. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And uh, tell me about the I-Lead Toronto. Yes. How was it? Oh, Please. That, was, that was amazing. Um, James McNeil has gone on something fantastic wow. and, and it was it was a privilege for me to be a part of it you know just celebrating sure. know, women entrepreneurs and leadership it, you know, it was just it, we had a great great couple of wow. days really really good yeah I was not able to attend just because I was in Dominican Republic but mm. um, oh, I, that's a good I, excuse yes <laughs> well, but I missed it I love James yeah, uh, James a is, guy. is a great guy yes James uh, McNeil he's my mentor he's in my website breakthroughrose.com because he honor my work and I honor his. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have done uh, Canto por la Paz, Song for Peace. Oh, right. That's yes. right. Yeah, you did that together. That's yes. right. I remember. And uh, now that we talked about uh, Nicaragua with uh, the work that you do with the kids and so on, you know, there's, there's an alignment here because this Canto por la Paz, the Song for Peace, is meant to bring awareness mm -hmm. about kids that are in terrorism, in uh, trafficking sites, that they're right. really in in, in, in in a place where no good humanity is given, you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad, wow, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, this happened for a reason. Do you know that? Keep watching because this is happening 
you're here, we are here, and you're happy. I'm sure about that. So I have Celeste Seferina. Ella dice, hola, Rosmarie, un abrazo. So Celeste is a very good friend. She's um, in Curazao. She's listening from there. Wonderful. Yes, and uh, one of the things she does is connecting people. The way that we have connected here, she does the same thing. And uh, when I said about you coming to this uh, program, she says, I have to listen. Oh, great. So she's here. Thank you, Celeste. So I have a question for you, which is really meaningful. Hmm. Um, when, when I said that you have a stable life, because I've seen it through the biography, through the book, through stages that, you know, you've been performing your spoken <laughs> program. Yeah. Um, tell me something. What means that stable life with a long journey? Hmm. What makes it? Yeah, what makes it? Wow. Hard work and commitment. My parents, my dad lost both his parents when he was young. Okay. Uh, he, he didn't really know his, his dad. Uh, oh. His mom uh, passed away when he was about 10 or oh, wow. 11 years old. So he was raised by his older brothers. My mom, she was raised by her grandmother because her parents divorced. Okay. And so when they got married, they were very determined that they were going to have a stable home. And that's what they raised us in. And so we saw wow. commitment. We saw dedication. We saw, you know, they didn't always agree, but they always worked hard together to support and encourage us in everything we did. So it is commitment. So because you have seen that pattern through your own life, you can bring that back to your own with That's your right. wife and your family. That's right. Wow. Yeah. That's significant because um, sometimes we, we ask ourselves why we're cursed. Why, why mm. we don't have that beautiful life others they may have because sure. we see the outside. We don't see the inside, right? We yeah. always see the outside and we say, ah, oh, that's a perfect life, yeah. you know, family complete. They never have arguments. It's not about that. I'm sorry. The, let's be honest. Every person has an argument in life. Sure. But uh, when you see a stability, you see people who have raised and have given a life the same way they own it in the past. Yeah. I think that that's very meaningful. Yeah. And you said commitment. Commitment, I think, is number one. No matter what, no matter what, I always said, don't go to bed angry. Sure. <laughs> it's a good rule. You know, it's a good rule because you don't know the next day if you're awakened. If, right. if, if you can say, thank you, God, I'm alive. You know, be, be in gratitude always, yeah. always for the little, big things and huge things because we deserve that too, right? Yeah. So um, I'm very glad that you said that. Um, I have also another question, which I, I don't like to throw the questions like that, but you know, since our timing is short. And I really want to make sure that I said this to the audience, which is listening. Um, I said, for love, care, and choices, what things will matter the most? Through love, care, and choices? Yeah. Yes. So we love is a choice. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is a choice. You know, and to back up to something you said earlier about people focusing and saying, oh, you know, those people had a good life. They, you know, it's, you know, I think you get what you focus on sometimes. If, if things are, you know, if things unfold bad, if things, you know, happen in your life, don't, don't focus on that. You have to deal with that. You have to go through those things, but don't focus on those things. You know, start focusing on positive things. Start focusing on good. And like you said, be grateful for the things. Be grateful for the fact that you got up this morning. Yes. Because none of us know what the next minute is going to hold because we just don't have any guarantee of it. So we need to be grateful in all the small things that we do. So we need to choose in the moment to be grateful. We need to choose in the moment to love. We need to choose in the moment to respect. We have the option. You know, if somebody cuts us off in traffic, we got the option to either get <laughs> upset or, or not get upset. Just let it go by. We have a choice in every moment. That's really important because as you said, uh, you're putting it as a systematic way. It's thinking about systems. Okay, if I choose to be in a good mood, everything will happen good to me, even though I would have, you know, incidents of something that I may not like. But it's still because I've chosen my attitude to be transformed in this day, even though I argue with my mom, let's say, or, you know, I didn't yeah. like what my child did and now I'm just annoyed. But now if I shift, you know, that thinking and said, okay, it's already gone. It's That's done. Right. Yeah. Now let's move on, yeah. right? Yeah, because if you just focus on that, it's just going to bring more. More of that. More of that. Yes, and you know, negativism 
and negativity people are like that. Sure. They're always complaining, always nagging, yeah. always saying, you see. know, yeah. All they see is like black and dark. Yeah. I'm sorry, not about being dark, but I mean, that's yeah. what it is. It's just the heaviness of it. Exactly. Sure. And yeah. I'm, I'm so happy for you bringing this because even you're mentoring right now my life. I'm so happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, él dice que es muy importante de, de las tres condiciones que son amar, entenderse y tomar decisiones. Que tú tomes siempre una decisión que sea el bien para ti. Que te enfoques a lo que realmente es productivo y lo que no es productivo y lo que no trae cosas que sean positivas, arrojarlas y desecharlas. ¿Cómo queda en ti todos los días hacerlo? Mm. Si te portas mal y te sientes mal, empieza a activar la fe para que esas cosas buenas lleguen y hagas una decisión asertiva, no una decisión que realmente va a impactar tu vida negativamente. Gracias. Gracias, mm -hmm. amigo. De nada, de nada. <laughs> de nada, de nada. Oh, another word. So I have to say something because uh, when we were in the commercials, um, you saw um, our great friend. Um, it's, um, it's, um, oh my God. I can, I can, I just, sorry. My words are gone. <laughs> um, yes, Mrs. Um, Dr. Stacy Cooper. Dr. Stacy Cooper, yes. Yes. Dr. Stacy Cooper is being in this program, sitting down. Oh, is that right? Yes, oh, great. like you are. Yeah, great, great. And she's a sponsor for uh, Blanda Entre Mujeres. She wow. has um, a, a product that, um, I don't think it's a product. It's, it's really something beneficial for every human being. And I think you did that test with her. The, the, the biofeedback, bio mm -hmm. yes. The biofeedback. Mm -hmm. What can you say about it? that uh, make you always said, okay, I want to come back to Dr. Stacy. Yes, well, it's, it's an amazing process you go through. It scans like 80 or 90 different functions in your body. And the first time I had it done, uh, it wasn't Dr. Stacy that did it, it was another doctor. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know anything about my, my, uh, my history, okay. my medical history. And they were about 96, 97% accurate. Wow. They were almost dead on with wow. everything. And they were able to scan it. It's a very simple process. But the results are just amazing what it shows you that's going on in your body. It is true because she did it here live and she did it with me and I was like surprised. I'm like, what? Yeah. Is that what really my body has inside? I think that's why it's important to mention it because um, she's offering $50 off. Wow. Yeah. For that's the price great. of the scan and also mentoring and giving you an hour and a half detail about what you should change, what you kept the same way, and what can improve. Yeah, and so, she's brilliant too. She, it is. She, she's very smart. She knows nutrition. She knows all yes. those things, vitamin supplements. She can get you on the right track in terms of supplements. So I'd highly recommend. I, I do also, it. I do also. I think uh, one of the things why I have her here as a sponsor is because I always like to be with people who are really making a difference in the community with mm -hmm. other people with respectful ways with really something that's proven and that's why i offer you today dr stacy cooper program the biofeedback scan and call her or send her a message i'll leave that information on the comments and you can have 50 dollars off i mean what else you want you need to do this. Yes. So thank you for that feedback. I really oh, enjoyed absolutely. it. And, and, and you know what? It's, it's not about me doing it. It's about you also. Yep. And now is the audience who can be part of it. So um, from aside all this and um, the experiences so far that you have gone through with communities, because we talked about Nicaragua. Have you gone to any other countries that are doing the same thing? Yeah, Guatemala, uh, Dominican, I've been to Dominican. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. Wow, I love Dominicans. Yes. What yes. a beautiful people. Yeah. Wow, yeah. and uh, um, any other country? Those are the, no, those are the only three that I've yeah, done three. mission working. Mission working, yes. okay, okay. Do you find a relation between an amount of three as something key in there? Like, okay, I see this in, Nicaragua, I see that in Dominican Republic, and I see that in um, in Guatemala. It's 
for me, it's the heart of the Latino people. <laughs> it really is. I just, yeah, yeah. you ask my wife, I just love Latino people. Ah, I'm, I'm connected nice. to a small little community church just yes. outside of my city that's a Latino ah, church. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. And that's where you're coming to Cel Jefe, <laughs> the conference on November 9 and 10. And I'm so glad that you are going to be part of this conference because, you know, one of the things we do is networking. Hmm. There will be a lot of people in the corporate world not only that people who really want to in a star entrepreneur um ship in their life and also uh who really strategically they want to improve their own self mm. as a professional yeah. as a corporate as as a business as a digital wise wise nation and and the outside world because these days you know everything digital demons that's right it's right? all digital and and it's so important just go back on what you were saying to continue to grow personally Exactly, 100%. continue to grow personally. And sometimes people say, ah, but why am I going to spend that money? I said, sorry, would mm. you spend money on something else that is not you? That's I mean, right. we yeah. have to be honest. We'll invest $20,000 in a car that's going to be worth $200 in 10 years. Thank you. But if we put $20,000 <laughs> into ourselves, we could make $200,000 or $400,000 back in our personal lives just by growing. It's so important. I think you put it more easier than anything. Thank you so much for that. Uh, just the last question, because I know you're still wondering what Jim Hedrington is coming and what he can give. And I think the most amazing thing I can say is that he had poured out in my life today as it is with you. Please just share, comment, and like. I have to mention something. I have Raymond Harrell. Hey, Dad. Amazing. Hey, hey, yes. <laughs> He's our adopted son. Oh, wow. And Raymond is going to be here in the program also. Is he? Oh, that's yes. Great. He's he a will great be at. Yeah, he he's amazing. I mean, yeah, honestly, he what a good human being. Yeah, he He'll is. be here at the end of the month. Wonderful. He's going to be interviewed, but uh, it's going to be soon live because he's outside in the country, you know, doing right. so he's, many Yeah, he's all work. over the place. I mean, yeah. honestly, like yeah. one entrepreneur. Yes, that no, he really is. He is. He yes. is. And uh, that's something I've spoken about um, his um, conference that he did about the collaboration, yeah. right? Yeah, the power of collaboration. Yeah. So huge. It is. And uh, also we have Juan Moises Davila Jimenez. Happy ah, Valentine's. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my other uh, adopted son from Nicaragua. Really? Wow. Yes. You see? You see why you're here? Yes. Because you cannot resist having you listen to this outpouring love. Yeah. I'm sure about well, that. When I go down and see him in Nicaragua, he always sends a gift home for my wife. Ah. He says, please give this to mom and sends a, a gift home. Wow. Yes. Yeah. We, wow. we have adopted kids everywhere. And I think, yeah. Wow. And I think it's, a, it's not about the gift. It's about the essence, right? Oh, it's, it's just. It's about doing it. And she's just in tears when she sees ah. those things. Yeah. Yes. What a beautiful thing. Yes. We're, we're, we're almost, almost there. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, my God. No way. I Can can't... we do this again sometime? Yes. Yes. Okay. We have to. We All have right. to. And uh, please. Remember, next week we're gonna have Mandana. Mandana wow. also oh, here. Oh, she's great. She's too. great. Yeah, we had a great conversation at uh, at Ivy. Oh uh, well, yes. Yeah. She's being a powerful woman and mm -hmm. um, um, always in the leadership side, working with communities for immigrants. Wow. That's really important, and that's what we're gonna talk next week. Wonderful. So I encourage you to stay. I wish I could have done the last question. All I have to say is that Jim is amazing. That you're gonna be here back and we're gonna see you at Cell Jefe conference. Don't miss it. We have all details. I'll leave the information here. You can go to www.celjefe S E E L J E F E dot net slash tour dash Canada. It's it's big, <laughs> but you will know what. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Listen. Bye bye.